Hey, in this video, we're going to be looking at how you can make awesome automations to automate your iPad experience. But this also works on your iPhone and your Mac. So let's get into it. So in my previous video, we looked at how you can automate your iPad, but not just from shortcuts that you can tap on the screen, but how they can interact with actual hardware. So when you squeeze that Apple Pencil Pro, it can turn on creative mode like this, or when you connect a controller, it can turn on gaming like this, or when you plug in a monitor, it can also turn it into like a Mac mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at how you make those automations. There are a couple of steps uh, before we actually do the Apple shortcut and automations and all that stuff. And we're going to start off with going to settings. So in here, the, you're going to have to go to wallpaper. Uh, you can also search for it on the top bar here, but um, you can also um, just scroll down the side here as well and then tap on wallpaper and then go to add wallpaper. Now you can use any wallpaper you want. You can make it generic. You can have something more sentimental, totally up to you. Um, I'm just going to tap this iPad OS 26 wallpaper something, and then I'm going to select the sky option because I like it. I'm not going to add any widgets or anything like that. Uh, I want this to be as minimalist as possible just to be like a Mac screen where you've got like a just the dock at the bottom uh, and I'm going to select add customize home screen and uh, so that's all fine I'm all good with that let's add that now that's all set now the next thing is we're going to need to create a focus mode as well so I have this Mac one but I'll delete this just to show you how to create it uh, so when you go to your focus mode here, you'll see a plus button. Bear in mind, if you do have 10 focus modes already set, you can't add any more. There is a limit. Uh, so if you don't see that plus button, you might have to either change your focus mode or delete it. So I'm going to add this Mac focus mode. So you'll see there's a couple options here that it's like your default options, like personal reading work and so on. But we're going to select custom. And in the name here, we're just going to select uh, type in Mac and then I'll select green and we'll put a nice computer screen on there. Select next, custom focus. And then from here, we're going to go to customize screens. So you can associate any wallpaper to whatever focus mode. Uh, so I'm going to choose here. So these are all my different wallpapers. I'm going to select the one that I just created and then I'm going to choose a home screen. I'm going to select this minimalist one here, which has the shortcuts widget, um, and then select done. Now if we come out of this, we now have the Mac mode. And if I scroll down, you'll see down here it says Mac. So if I hold down on the screen here, I can actually select whatever focus mode I want with this specific wallpaper. So for example, this wallpaper here is gaming, and then I've got um, this one, which is the creative one. So when you do select an automation, then if I select gaming here, that will select the gaming page with the gaming wallpaper and the apps I've got associated with that. If I select creative mode here, that will change the background as well again to the wallpaper that I set for that with all the relevant apps I've got for creative mode. So the next step is to go into the shortcuts app. In the shortcuts app, we're gonna start off with shortcuts. I've got a whole bunch here, create gaming in iPad mode. So we click plus. Uh, we're gonna rename this to Mac mode. And I'm gonna select the icon here, make it green, and then select a screen again. Same one, this one here, just so it's uh, cohesive and it just follows the same pattern. Uh, and then you're gonna go to controls and set focus. So turn, we're just gonna leave that as is. This do not disturb, we're going to select that and se select the Mac option. It's set to off and we're going to set that to on until turned off. There are other options here, but we're just going to leave it to turned off. Now with the Mac mode, that's just going to toggle that on if I just select it. So if I go to creative mode and then back to Mac mode, that will just toggle it on. How are we going to automate it so that whenever you plug a monitor in, it automatically adds that focus mode? To do that, we just need to go to the shortcuts app again and select this option that says automation. So I already have one here that says when the display is disconnected, so turn it into iPad mode. So to automate that, we're going to click on the plus button up here and we're going to type in the search display and it shows up here. 
and it says is connected and is disconnected. So we obviously want connected so that when you plug it in, it does it. And then it says run after confirmation or run immediately. So we want it to run immediately because we don't want to confirm or anything. We just want to plug it in for it to be just automatic. Select next. And then it's going to say, what do you want it to connect to? So we want it to connect to this Mac mode here. That's now uh, in Mac mode. If I get my cable here, and I'm going to put it into creative mode here, just so you can see on the screen. When I plug this in to my monitor, it's now connected to Mac mode. And that's now connected to the monitor. And then when I disconnect it, it will just disconnect from here. So the first step of setting your wallpaper and then setting the focus mode is all the same across the board. So if you look here, I've got turn on creative uh, mode. So this is the, so turn, you leave that as is. Creative, these are gonna be your focus modes and then on is just to turn it on or off and you want it to turn on and then not turn off. Uh, and then for this one specifically, I've added another one to turn on dark mode for the creative focus, just because that's what I prefer. And then the gaming mode here, same thing. I've got turn on gaming and then so on. So these are the same across the board. For the gaming mode, if you want to turn on when using a controller, there's actually a built in, in the focus mode for gaming, a wireless controller option. So under here, you can actually select to turn on automatically. So when you do connect a wireless controller, then um, it just connects and turns on that mode. Uh, and then with the uh, Apple Pencil option, it's actually built into the Apple Pencil. So the only one that you actually really need to set the automation for is the Mac mode. So on Apple Pencil, you just say actions, squeeze, and you've got all these options here. So there's um, show tool palette, switch between current tool and razor and so on. And I've got a shortcut here. And then the shortcut is to um, activate the creative mode. So when I do go to my Apple Pencil and I just squeeze it, it activates the creative mode. This is only for the Apple Pencil Pro, by the way, uh, because it's got that squeeze option. And then if I plug in the monitor here, it activates the Mac mode. So that's how you create those modes. Uh, it's very simple, very easy to do. Once you get the first stage, the rest of it is, is very simple. I would definitely recommend you checking out the iPad versatility video, how it's like a three-in-one device and how it connects with your Mac as well. I'll leave that on the end screen and link down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Peace.